And I'm gonna show you two things that I do for my feedback to make it quicker. I do use Feedback Panda, but I use it in a very non-traditional or alternative way, and I'll show you that. And then I also um, want to show you kind of like all of the options that you can do. So maybe when you're in class, you can just do a couple of these things that will make it so much faster and easier for you and your feedback. So let's get started. As you can tell, I'm in a student no-show, and I am going to pretend as if I was in a student's class, and I'm going to keep this open. And I will tell you what I do. These are my little trips and, tricks and tips. So most of the time, I put the cursor right here in my teacher-to-teacher. -teacher. I know that there are a lot of people that talk about teacher-to-teacher -teacher, um, feedback, and I'm sure I'll have a video on that soon. But um, I just, I put my notes in, and they are almost always spelled wrong because I am typing them as I am teaching. So I do not want to take my, my um, eye off of the student and I want to make sure that I type as fast as possible. So you might see something like this, ask sentence and tail, um, bad, that kind of thing, um, and then pronounce whatever, and it's spelled wrong and I don't care, and I, and I will just go on. So during the class, that's what I do. Um, and then, as we are going through, I make sure that I mark these off. This is just one more quick step, and the reason why this is a quick step, um, and then if I, it is slow and I am waiting or they are talking, I will say hello, uh, thank you so much for booking this class with me. I really, uh, really enjoyed uh, Amy's um, skill at full sentences, blah, blah, blah. Oopsie, I, sentences. I uh, would love to work with her again. Okay, and then teacher Danielle, do, 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 do. All right, so that's what I would normally do. And then I would save it. And the reason why I'm gonna save this is because I can go back now um, whenever I decide and have my feedback um, personalized just to them. And all I have to do is Control or con uh, Command V and paste it in here and then just hit Submit and I'm ready to go. I have everything ready. Um, it also is perfect because if you have them already in there, you can actually be on your phone app at the same time. So I just wanted to show really quick about how to do this. So let's see, I am going to go in and I'm gonna look at Kibau. Yeah. And I am going to see that I've already put this in. So I'm just waiting between classes. And I know that he, whoops, he mastered everything. And I'm just waiting. I have, you know, just one minute. And if I were to actually um, try to put this on the computer, it would take me forever. And it's possible that I would miss my class or be late or whatever. And now, poof, done. There we go. And it's submitted. And I still have three more minutes for my class. No clicking, 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 clicking. I hope that helps. So this is the first thing about feedback. Um, like I said, I do use Feedback Panda and I have created uh, three trial models that are just for myself. I have not created a template for it. I don't usually use other people's feedback. So let me show you what I have done. Let me get this bigger. Some people just change, their, change the teacher's name and then they go for it, you import it. What I do is I actually use the smart sentences. So right here, there are smart sentences. And honestly, I click right out of these. This 
is what every single teacher that uses Feedback Panda is going to send on their trial. So if a student has had one, two, three, four, five trials, um, they're going to see the exact same things. I do not think that that's professional. That's my own opinion, um, but I like to create my own. So these are called smart sentences, and you can just create any smart sentence that you want. I don't really have them in categories, but I have them in, you know, making sure that they continue full sentences, dropping the articles, the A and the the, so that I don't have to keep writing it over and over again. When I find a new one that I like, I just write it in. And the cool thing is, is that you can do the bracket name and it will fill in their name. So it will merge their name, which is great. So I'm gonna go into my own smart sentences. And this is maybe a child that has continued to use full sentences, is using them on their own, or used to use them, and now I really had to prompt them. So he should continue to practice answering questions independently. The more he works independent, the more information he remembers, and the quicker he will improve his English. I get these basically, I just kind of read an article and if I see something that's interesting to me, I always want to explain the why. I'm not going to explain, and and he did this, and these are these words, and this is this was. The student's parents are actually there or they're seeing the video afterwards. So I'm going to go all the way down to my trials. This was an easy one, meaning that they did not have a problem at all. This one is the trial level one, which is, you know, I don't say, oh, and he learned A and B and that kind of thing. This is the one that I most often use. So I could, because I really push my trials. I'm actually someone who doesn't use a secondary reward and I really, really challenge them for full sentences, even level one and I convert quite a high percentage of them. So I think that it is what Chinese parents are looking for and it works for me. So one of these sentences is gonna be gone depending on how they did. So if they've already worked in full sentences, then I will focus on this. I noticed today that Bao Bao had a tail sound. I noticed today that Bao Bao was unable to recognize D, small d, from small b. Um, you know, he caught on very quickly at VIP Kid. We become confident readers, blah, blah, blah. And then I already have all of my information. So if I do this, then I can just import it. I'm gonna import it anyways. There we go. And lo and behold, this is a very easy um, feedback that I have had, you know, maybe a little bit of tweaking. It looks very different than most student or most teachers feedback. And, um, you know, it helps me quite a bit. So that is that portion of how to get feedback done quicker. I don't care how much Feedback Panda costs. I really enjoy it. Um, it logs in every single um, class I've ever had, what I've talked about before. So um, I am willing to pay for it. It is tax deductible. It comes right off of my income and I don't really care. It is also supporting a woman's business. So she's based in Germany and I am all for supporting women and their businesses. So I, I don't have a problem with it. There is also Google uh, Planner and Google Slides that have their own that you can um, you know, rearrange, they have a platform or a template. There are the ones in the actual material that will work. And then you can just make up your own if you want to, too. Uh, that would be great. Smart sentences for me save me huge amounts of time. But let's go into something. The other way that I am really good with um, feedback is if I use my voice. Uh, to text. So I'm showing you here because I've already done all of my feedback. And so if I have already put into my feedback, they're excellent and they're, you know, and all of their um, things that, and I only need to do the, the actual feedback, I will touch this, whoops, this little button, and then it will talk and I will be able to see, period, what I need to do in order to do a good feedback period. And then my feedback only takes 
five minutes or under, period. <laughs> I actually sent that to him. Whoops, in trouble. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> that is a way that will uh, be helpful to you. You know, we don't get paid for feedback, so uh, you wanna make it as concise and professional as possible, but you also wanna make it as quick as possible, but you want repeat customers or students. So um, there's this dilemma of what you should do. And uh, for me, you know, I get quite a bit of feedback. I got usually a 42 to 45 percent uh, feedback rating. Um, and I use Feedback Panda, so but with the smart sentences. So I hope this all helps you. If it did, please like the video, uh, comment on the video, subscribe to the channel. Um, there will be more and more and more of these. You know, let me know what you want to see, what you don't want to see, maybe what you are thinking about and what we should make a video about next. Thanks, guys. Happy teaching. Bye.